What is going on world? The crazy Hungarian is back with another video and today I want to talk about this thing. Wi-Fi and internet. The very thing that you're watching on me right now. Is this killing our DNA? Is this hindering and hurting us? A bunch of ninth grade students did a little experiment and they found that the radiation from Wi-Fi routers and our cell phones are actually doing some serious damage to us. So let's take a look. Alright, so if you guys have been following along my journey here for a while, you know that I've been questioning a lot of this kind of stuff. I believe we are all experiments for the world and as of right now with all these new products and services and things like Wi-Fi, 3G, Bluetooth, how is all this stuff affecting us? I believe it is very important for us to be documenting our lives because long term we're going to be able to look back and see how these things are affecting us and our bodies as we grow and develop. One thing I specifically remember reading from the 4-Hour uh, the Body by Tim Ferriss is that he, uh, while he was doing all these kind of testosterone and hormone testing on his body, he did an experiment where he actually used to keep his cell phone in his front pocket, but then he moved it to his back pocket or his upper uh, top sleeve here, and he found that his testosterone increased. But I was interviewing a very famous strength coach named Charles Poliquin, and he had noted in one of his interviews that he associated low T values, testosterone, with athletes who carried their cell phones in their pockets. There was a very compelling case that very limited cell phone exposure, and when I say cell phone, I mean cell phone, GSM, I think it was 900 megahertz cell phones, one hour could negatively affect, severely negatively affect uh, sperm morphology, meaning shape, motility, meaning swimming direction, doesn't do you very much good if they're going the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> count, et cetera, and that was one hour. Oh, yeah. And I was able to uh, do a few things, and, uh, among which was turning off the cell phone or keeping it out of my pocket. You had your, your sperm tested, right, to make sure right. to see what your testosterone mm -hmm. levels were. So I, I doubled my sperm count in three months. And he believes that was because keeping that radiation, keeping all those signals that are coming into your phone right near your, your genital area is actually seriously uh, hindering and affecting him. Now, I have another question. If you're putting it here, is that affecting your heart? Is that affecting anything like that? Basically, we don't know yet. We are the test subjects for all this kind of stuff. We are the human experiments because this stuff hasn't been out for uh, even a whole generation yet. We have not seen how Wi-Fi is affecting us as human beings for that long. So at a school in northern Jutland, there was a group of ninth grade students and they recently embarked on a biology experiment inspired by their own personal experiences with concentrating. Leah Nielsen, one of the students, explained, We all think we have experienced difficulty concentrating in school. If we had slept with the phone next to our head and sometimes also experienced having difficulty sleeping. Curious about the shared experience, the group of girls designed an experiment to investigate the impact of Wi-Fi radiation on living cells. Specifically, they chose to use Crest Seeds. They took 400 seeds and they separated them out across 12 different trays. Six of the trays were placed in each of two rooms. Both rooms, apparently, again, there's not much documentation of this. I don't know if they recorded it. I'd love to see the documentation of all that. But all we can have is their experience and the experience of, I believe, the teacher who is uh, proving that they, they did these tests correctly. But they said, both rooms were kept at the same temperature and both sets of trays were given the same amount of water and access to sunlight throughout the experiment. The one difference between the two rooms creating the basis for this experiment is that the trays in one room were placed next to two Wi-Fi routers. The Wi-Fi routers broadcast the same type of radiation that can be observed coming from our cell phones. And this allowed the students to recreate the impact of sleeping with your phone next to your bedside table, right next to your head. The results? After 12 days, it was shocking to see the difference between the two sets of trays. While the crest seeds in the first room were growing well, appearing healthy and flourishing in their environment, the same could not be said in the second room. The seeds that were placed next to the router showed no real growth at all. Some of the seeds could even be observed showing signs of mutation or dying off entirely. And as you can see here from the pictures, like, this is a very distinct difference. Like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, I don't even know really what to say about that. I always, you know, I, as I mentioned earlier, I always questioned how these Wi-Fi signals uh, were affecting us in our bodies. I remember being in class and if uh, someone was projecting something up onto a screen, 
you could hear when someone was getting a text message because it was like burr, 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 burr. it would like affect the sound of the projector so if just a text message has the ability to disrupt that and it's obviously sending signals through us like microwave signals and all this kind of different radiation signals how much of an effect is it actually having on us and if it's having this much of an effect on you know helping like preventing the sprouting of seeds we can only imagine what it's doing to our bodies and to our dna the article continues saying the experiment was enough to open the students eyes about their cell phone use and whether or not it is safe to bring their phones to bed at night it truly is frightening that there is so much effect, so we were very shocked by the result. None of us sleep with the mobile next to the bed anymore. Either the phone is put far away or is put in another room and the computer is always off. And then it just kind of continues on to say that beyond just the school taking recognition of the, this unique experiment that these uh, young ladies did, that it's going to, you know, international attention from biologists and radiation experts. But like, why are we just, why does it take a set of grade nine students to really start testing this out and questioning this in the world? And what's gonna happen because of this? Are we gonna have to have special rooms where this, th these are only Wi-Fi rooms, this is the only internet kind of room you can be in because it's, it's specially coded or are you gonna have to wear something on your body just to be able to use Wi-Fi? Again, this is probably taking a little far but these are all questions that I believe we need to be questioning as we bring new things into our lives. Like recently I just saw something on the internet here about a new wax that you put in your hair and it changes the color of your hair just for that day. Yeah, awesome. And it might be complete legit, all natural products and stuff. I didn't really dive into it because I wasn't questioning it too, too much. It's just kind of funny that now we stumbled upon this article. But once these new products come into the world because of the internet and you know the thing where you put that uh, teeth whitening thing that's like radiating your mouth. These are all things that you know one celebrity uses or one well-known person uses and shows to their fan base and poof, it explodes and it, be it becomes a legitimate thing in the world, possibly with no long-term testing done on human beings. So this is a very uh, concerning thing that I believe, again, we need to be questioning. We need to question every single factor that's going on in our lives because looking back at past scientific studies where they say, you go and read through the study and the the test groups are done on such small test groups and with people who we have no idea what their lives are like. So when they're doing a study on cancer, are they using products like this? How do we know what these kind of people are like? Are these healthy, fit, active people? Are these people who are not eating a nutritious diet? There are so many factors that are going on in our lives that are affecting our bodies that we just don't know anymore. We need to really be testing and questioning out every single factor. So. This is a very interesting article. I'm glad I stumbled upon this. I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the description box below. Do you guys think Wi-Fi is affecting us and affecting our bodies? Are you concerned about where you carry your phone on your body? Because I am. Whenever I have the opportunity to not put it right next to my nuts there, I'm putting it somewhere else, putting it in my backpack or putting it away from my body. So I wanna know what you guys do. So please go leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, hit that like button on your way down there. I am the Hungarian experiment.